What are your guys' thoughts with the um, the offensive coordinator going forward? Um, I'll kind of frame it this way. Do you feel it would be an internal hire or an external hire or kind of what are your thoughts there? My, my, I'll start. Um, I, my, my guess is it'll be an external hire. Um, I know, I know, and I've talked to Kirk about it and we haven't specifically said external versus internal. We haven't had that specific discussion, but in talking with him, it's very clear to me that, that he's, he's thinking broadly and he's, he's taking it seriously and he's literally looking for the best, the best fit and the best, best offensive coach he can find. And he's making a lot of calls. This isn't going to be a, you know, um, well, I'll just call, we'll make one call to whoever and offer him the job and see how let's get this thing going. This is not, he's not mailing this in. He's taking it very seriously. And, um, you know, it's it's a. There's some people that are already upset that it hasn't happened yet, but one thing I'll, I'd like to address that that I think might be somewhat insightful is that you know Brian was making around 800 grand. Okay, the market for a top notch OC might be around two million bucks. Okay, wow. and and so you know if we're gonna and and by the way. Phil makes what 1.4 somewhere in there. Okay. So, so, you know, if you're Kirk, you, you've got these names of people you want to call and, and talk to, and, and then maybe you do call and they're interested, but then he knows how much they make. So he's going to end up needing to get approval from Beth or maybe even president Wilson, who, by the way, wanted the new offensive coordinator in the first place to get authorization to be able to pay, you got to pay an offensive coordinator, but how do you think that that would go over if you're Phil Parker? Oh, and by the way, he just won the Broyles. Do you think his phone's ringing off the hook right now? Do you think that the SEC is throwing boatloads yeah. of cash at him right now? The answer is absolutely yes, they are. Yeah. And, and 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 so if we're going to go pay a new offensive, trying to get our best, the best OC we can find, and the market is going to give us, then. And we're going to pay him two million bucks. And I'm just using that as a round number. Might be more. I don't know. Um, we got we got to pay Phil more. We got to probably pay Seth more, right? Yeah, and, and I mean, it didn't help Gus Johnson saying, you know, back up the Brinks truck. You know. It, well, I'm just I'm just I'm just saying that 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 there's so you got to get you kind of got to get authorization from yeah the powers that be from people above you to spend the money. Then, then you then you you know because if they say no. Which they might, I don't know. But if, you know, if they say no, well, then now well, his hands it, are tied a little bit. Here's the deal: if they say no, then they're not serious about competing. A, the money don't you, you're not going to convince me for a second, Matt, that the money is not there with this new TV contract. So, yeah, if the market says if an offensive coordinator, top tier offensive coordinator, two million dollars, then figure out a way to pay him two million dollars. Like, I mean, with this this Big Ten TV contract is insane. And so Phil should be Phil should be making two plus million dollars. Of course he should. Absolutely, Absolutely. he deserves and, every bit of it. You know, there are. I I think the market dictates what you pay in any business, right? Is that fair, Brad? You're a business guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, it absolutely and is. I think it's fair to say that Phil Parker, um, absolutely. I'm 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 would be shocked if he isn't getting offers in the $2 million range to go to greener pastures, potentially from some people's perspectives to compete maybe for national championships. He, it's incredible what he's done here. We've talked about it over and over again. So um, I think you're probably right. I would just have to hope that the powers that be that were responsible for pushing to make this change or basically demanding to make this offensive coordinator change. And during the season, I would hope that those same powers of be would further demonstrate their, uh, you know, they're committing the committal to commitment to hiring the best person available, which means throwing over some dough. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, completely agree with you. But of course, he's got to get that. He's got to get his budget figured out before he can offer anybody anything. Right. I mean, he can't. Well, that's, you that's, know, I mean, that's, that's, how much that's that operation is, one. How much of that is him and how much of that is 
is the administration above him that has to give him this, hey, you're working with this amount of money. The, the administration above him has to offer authorize a, a budget increase. He can't just, you know, it's not as if he's not using the money that, that he has allotted to him. So he's going to have to go and get get an authorization to spend more money than he's currently spending. Um, now, he probably doesn't need authorization if he wants to get a new OC and pay him 800000 right? I'm, my budget's my budget. You know, it's no problem, right? But if he wants to get, if he wants to pay market rate for the best OC we can find, then it's going to cost more. The market is, it, I mean, you don't have to be me to or anybody on this call to, to know that it's, that the market is much more than eight hundred thousand dollars for a for a quality OC. So we've got to we've got to get authorization for the cash, and we I say we Kirk has to get authorization for the cash, and then he's got to go through and, and figure out who he can buy for the amount of money that he has to spend. 